The upheaval in Hong Kong and controversy over Kaohsiung Mayor Han Guoyu appear to be working in President Tsai Ing-wen's favor. The most recent public opinion poll shows Tsai leading the support ratings with nearly 50 percent of the vote. Analysts say Han's best chance at winning would be in a four-way race which would divide the voter base. But whether the race is two-way, three-way or four-way, Tsai would have the advantage. As the clock counts down to the 2020 race, candidates from both camps are stepping up to the start line. A new poll from the Cross Strait Policy Association shows that Tsai would lead the pack with 47.2 percent of the vote, ahead of Han Guoyu's 31 percent. Since July, Han's ratings have dropped eight percentage points. Recent cross strait relations, Chinese suppression of Taiwan, and Hong Kong's protests against the extradition bill. These factors have burnished the image of Tsai as a fiery pro Taiwan woman. And then, of course, the biggest argument against Han is poor governance. This issue, combined with the matter of his many commitments and controversy over his various faux pas, make it highly unlikely that he will improve in the polls. Han has bounced from one controversy to another, and his ratings have fallen along the way. In the latest poll, 21.8 percent of respondents refrained from taking a position. Analysts say this means there is room for a third candidate to dominate the race. But even in a three-way with Ko Wenzhou or Terry Go, Tsai would still be likely to come out on top. Tsai Wen still has room to climb in the polls. For example, if the U.S. more strongly expresses its support for her, Han Guoyu would benefit the most from a four-way race. If the presidential election had four contenders, Tsai would see her lead on hand narrowed to just six percentage points.